Willie Revilam is a billionaire. Wowie host Willie Revilam refused to reveal his total assets to reporters or even his closest friends. SNN or Showbiz News Nguyen failed to squeeze Willie during their interview. Willie Revilam is the highest paid talent of ABS-CBN outnumbering the talent fee of Boyabunda and Chris Aquino who is also in the top five highest paid talents of the said network. Willie is considered as the Manny Pacquiao by some writers and reporters. But in Manny's case, the revenue is always open. Willie's album sales and endorsements also greatly contributes to his total assets. As justified, he is the most in-demand talent of ABS-CBN. His noontime show Wowie is always jam-packed by audiences Filipino and foreigners alike. Unlike his co-hosts, Will Revilam gives his own ideas and creative inputs in his noontime show. That's why just recently when Willie suffered from health problems leading to his absence in Wowie a lot of reports are saying that the ratings of Wowie dropped when Willie was out of the show recently. Piolo Pascal and Randy Santiago are some of the actors who filled the slot for Willie. Is Willie Revilam a member of the Billionaires Club? Is he a billionaire? That's the million dollar question everybody wants to know about Wowie and host Willie Revilam. In an exclusive interview by Capuso anchor Jessica Soho and her show Capuso Mo, Jessica Soho, KMJS, last night, April 12, the controversial TV host answered the questions thrown at him by the veteran newscaster. Willie's Properties Kuya Willie gave Jessica's team VIP access to his home and revealed some of the properties he worked hard for throughout his career. Willie confirmed that he owns a mansion in an exclusive subdivision in Quezon City and a five-hectare resort hotel in Tagaite, where KMJS shot the interview. He also owns three luxury cars, two Rolls-Royce and a Ferrari, a stunning yacht, which has five rooms, a living room and kitchen, and his very own private jet. Blood Sweat and tears. Jessica asked Willie, what his real net worth is? The Capuso host responded, Miss Kim Hanners O laughs. But I'm legally paying, do not cheat. He added, money is insignificant to him and that the love of the people around him counts more. 259-5000, you cannot gauge your money. I'm not a billionaire or a millionaire. Get all the money out of it if you go out there do not love you. I'm not god of money. That's what I worked for, I want to enjoy my life. The supposedly one billion contract he signed with his former network, TV5, is a matter of public record. But what is more important is that he paid his dues to the government. Why do you ask that? Laughs they know that's that record. I do not even have to say how much. Just base your taxes on it. So there you know. In addition, Willie appealed to those still sowing intrigues about his immense wealth. He explained that he worked hard for every centavo he earned just like everybody else. I hope they understand that I did not steal this money. I tried it hard. It's this money, I spend my own happiness. What's more, he likens his life to the first letter of his name W. Despite hitting rock bottom a number of times, he was able to get up and become a better person. Willie quipped, it's my name, W. Up, down, up, down, up. It's good to be up late. Willie Revilam not getting poor at all, the roller coaster ride that is Willie Revilam's life and career seems to be on the ascent again, with news that the controversial television host comedian will be back on the airwaves soon with a new game show on a new network. Speculation among gossip columnists is that he's slowly losing the fortune that he earned from past TV shows. But apparently he's not getting poor, far from it, as a source among his circle of friends and business associates told Inquirer Lifestyle. How can Willie get poor, the source argued, when he's still got all these assets, namely, the property in Tagante he bought from the Madrigal family, with an estimated value of P350 million on which he's now building a hotel. The house and lot in Ayalu Heights formerly owned by Gabby Lopez and Panji Tipales, now worth P400 million. Four floors at Will Tower plus a helipad. A collection of paintings including a bent cab mural worth P40 million, three Fernando Zobels, P20 million, a vintage Arturo Luz, P7 million, plus a number of sculptures. A brand new Rolls-Royce Wraith, 
P-12 million, among a fleet of high-end cars, a private plane and yacht, and Hermes bags and Louis Vuitton suitcases. He wants to buy a helicopter when his Taganti hotel is finished. The only properties Willie has sold, the source said, is Will's events place in the mall in Will Tower, both in Quezon City. The sale has netted him P650 million. All told, the source said, Willie could be worth around P2 billion. Much of his cash is invested in a foreign country. Some of it is in Banco de Oro. Surprisingly, the source added, Willie has recently stopped gambling, on the advice of his business partners. The real problem with his gambling habit, the source said with a laugh, is that Willie has been winning more than losing, especially in Macau. His financial advisors seem to worry that this winning streak could suddenly be reversed if Willie keeps on betting heavily in casinos. So the question is, why does Willie want to get back his TV hosting day job when his wealth can sustain him for a lifetime? The truth, said the source, is not so much a desire to be in the limelight, but more of a need to earn money for his daily expenses, which are quite considerable. Willie's lifestyle, the source added, may not be extravagant, but it's not exactly frugal. In any case, it seems all systems go, as far as this coming new game show is concerned. It's called Wowin, which will air 3.30-5 p.m. every Sunday on GMA7. The only difference, the source revealed, is that Willie is a block timer, meaning he won't be a GMA7 talent but will buy airtime by paying the network P2 million every week. Willie Revilam, estimated net worth, 600 million Philippine pesos, A-list comedian, television host and recording artist, Willie Revilam has amassed huge amount of his fortune since having his own show. An entrepreneur, Willie is also a real estate developer, with Tower Mall, owner of restaurants W Bar and Will State Town. A collection of luxury cars, two yachts, and four houses. Willie Revilam admits losing P50M due to Wow when Willie Revilam hosted the show Wow in on the GMA network said during a press conference on August 5 that he spent almost P50 million to support the production of the show, according to a report from Pep. Wowin is a variety show with different segments where contestants can win cash prizes. It first aired in May of this year. T's OK, it's money. You know, it's just money, we can earn it. And when I started Wowie, I didn't have any money anyway. So I'm just giving all of this back to the people. Willie formerly hosted the show Wowie, which aired on ABS-CBN. It was cancelled in 2010 after five years of airing. Between Wowie and Wowin, Willie hosted TV5's Willing Willie, Will Big Time, and Wow Willie, but all were cancelled for various reasons. Willie admitted during the press con that the 3.30 p.m. time slot was one of the factors in Wowin's lack of funding, as it does not attract as many advertisers. Wowin aired every Sunday. There were reports that the show would air its last episode in July, but the host said he planned to talk to the network about giving him a better time slot. During the press con, Willie said that GMA's vice president for program management Joey Abakan already talked to him. Willie said that during their talk, Joey told him that the network would not leave him, you can't leave us, we don't want you to leave, we don't want to lose you. Let's talk. Willie said that there are talks about airing the show daily instead of weekly, yes, I will persevere. I be honest, I have some properties that can be sold until I can maintain the show. Wowin will begin airing at a new time slot, 2 p.m. on Sundays, starting on August 9. Willie Revilam on Noise SONA, Wealth and Success, TV host Willie Revilam said that he was pleased with President Benigno Aquino III's last State of the Nation address. SONA. In an interview with reporters while on the red carpet of Yes! Magazine's 15th anniversary party, Monday, July 27, Willie said he was glad that Pinoy was honest in his speech. Willie endorsed Manny Villar in the 2010 presidential elections and was a vocal critic of Pinoy. I like the SONA of the president, he was honest. It's about time he thanked everyone who did not leave him. What's important is nothing was stolen from us. Regarding his status as one of showbiz's wealthiest personalities, Willie said that he attributes it to the hard work he has put in for many years. T's not about the wealth, 
hard working so that the fruits of your labor. The wealth is not about the money, it's how you invest your money. During his speech when he accepted a special recognition for being one of the magazine's best-selling cover stars, Willie also told artists present at the event to invest their money well. As an artist, what I see is if the show does not rate, when you get older, you do not have any investments, there is nothing for the artists. I hope this will serve as an inspiration, let it be a lesson to us people in showbiz, that if you have the money, put it in properties, invest immediately. Because once we are gone in this profession, remember this industry when we get older, there will be new ones to replace us. If you do not have the ratings, you are not the star. If the ratings are low, people will look at you differently. Many people will love you in this industry, but love yourself more because at the end of the day, if you get sick, you should have money in your pocket so we won't look so pitiful or have to approach just anyone to ask for money. He also called on all the artists to unite regardless of, of their affiliate station L. Let's all join together even if you're from Channel 5, if you come from Channel 2, Channel 7. If you are an artist who needs help, just because you are from Channel 5 does not mean you should not help. This is the time for all of us to join together. We will do well, let us join together, let us help each other. We're not enemies, we're not competing with each other. His success and controversies in showbiz have made headlines throughout the years. Willie started his career playing drums and being a sidekick in movies. He also appeared on the show Lunch Date back in the late 80s, where he formed a friendship with singer Randy Santiago. He is perhaps best known for his noontime shows like Wooey. But along the way, Willie faced a string of controversies, some surrounding his various shows, including altercations with other hosts audience objection to some of the content, and a suspension for making inappropriate jokes on a show, Willie Revulam allegedly lost 120 million Philippine pesos in casino, Willie Revulam, the controversial TV noontime host, is rumored to have lost 120 million Philippine pesos this October at Solaire Resort and Casino. As a VIP, he is whisked away via a private chopper to and from the casino. Gambling can be Willie's outlet lately as his noontime show at TV5 was X this October. The TV network reportedly was not making money out of Willie. He also sold his Will's event place with a luxury car as bonus this year for 250 million Philippine pesos. But the millions lost is just a penny of the wealth he has amassed as the highest paid celebrity in the Philippines. Willie started out as a band drummer and then as a movie sidekick. He got his big break as one of the triumvirate host of MTB, a now-defunct noontime show on ABS-CBN. He then had his own show, Wow Willie which made him well-loved by Filipinos abroad. Indeed, the biggest TV network in the country made him filthy rich. He afforded to buy a piece of land in front of ABS-CBN from the network's ex-head, Freddie M. Garcia, a.k.a. FMG, a permanent fixture in Pilipinas Got Talent. He paid a sum of 47 million Philippine pesos for the lot which is now the location of Will's Tower Mall and Luxury Condo. Willie also bought a mansion at Ayala Heights, Quezon City from no other than ABS-CBN's owner, Gabby Lopez. Well, buying the network is still far-fetched. How rich Willie is! The photo at the right is the former marital home of Gabby Lopez and his ex-wife Panji Gonzalez. It sits on a 2,300 sqm lot, with a floor area of 700 sqm. Will spent 65 million Philippine pesos for the repairs and improvements. It has an infinity pool and the water can be heated if you want to. The house also has a piped in music. In the afternoon, retro music is playing. The new furniture from Italy cost Will a sum of 35 million Philippine pesos. The huge garage hosts Willie's 13 cars, his favorite being the fire red P22 million Ferrari F430. His immense wealth. He explained that he worked hard for every centavo he earned just like everybody else. 
I hope they understand that I did not steal this money. I tried it hard. It's this money, I spend my own happiness. What's more, he likens his life to the first letter of his name W. Despite hitting rock bottom a number of times, he was able to get up and become a better person. Will equipped, it's my name, W. Up, down, up, down, up. It's good to be up late. Willy Revilam not getting poor at all, the roller coaster ride that is Willy Revilam's life and career seems to be on the ascent again, with news that the controversial television host comedian will be back on the airwaves soon with a new game show on a new network. Speculation among gossip columnists is that he's slowly losing the fortune that he earned from past TV shows. But apparently he's not getting poor, far from it, as a source among his circle of friends and business associates told Inquirer Lifestyle, a living room and kitchen, and his very own private jet. Blood, sweat and tears. Jessica asked Willie, what his real net worth is. The Capuso host responded, Miss Kim Henner's O laughs. But I'm legally paying, do not cheat. He added, money is insignificant to him and that the love of the people around him counts more. 259-5000, you cannot gauge your money. I'm not a billionaire or a millionaire. Get all the money out of it if you go out there do not love you. I'm not God of money. That's what I worked for, I want to enjoy my life. The supposedly one billion contract he signed with his former network, TV5, is a matter of public record. But what is more important is that he paid his dues to the government. Why do you ask that? Laughs they know that's that record. I do not even have to say how much. Just base your taxes on it. So there you know. In addition, Willie appeal to those still sowing intrigues about his problems leading to his absence in Wooey. A lot of reports are saying that the ratings of Wooey dropped when Willie was out of the show recently. Piolo Pascal and Randy Santiago are some of the actors who filled the slot for Willie. Is Willie Revilam a member of the Billionaires Club? Is he a billionaire? That's the million dollar question everybody wants to know about wowing host Willie Revilam. In an exclusive interview by Capuso anchor Jessica Soho and her show Capuso Mo, Jessica Soho, KMJS, last night, April 12th. The controversial TV host answered the questions thrown at him by the veteran newscaster. Willie's Properties Kuya Willie gave Jessica's team VIP access to his home and revealed some of the properties he worked hard for throughout his career. Willie confirmed that he owns a mansion in an exclusive subdivision in Quezon City and a five-hectare resort hotel in Tagaite, where KMJS shot the interview. He also owns three luxury cars, two Rolls-Royce and a Ferrari. A stunning yacht, which has five rooms. Willie Revilam is a billionaire. Wowie host Willie Revilam refused to reveal his total assets to reporters or even his closest friends. SNN or Showbiz News Union failed to squeeze Willie during their interview. Willie Revilam is the highest paid talent of ABS-CBN outnumbering the talent fee of Boyabunda and Chris Aquino who is also in the top five highest paid talents of the said network. Willie is considered as the Manny Pacquiao by some writers and reporters. But in Manny's case, the revenue is always open. Willie's album sales and endorsements also greatly contributes to his total assets. As justified, he is the most in-demand talent of ABS-CBN. His noon times show Wowie is always jam-packed by audiences Filipino and foreigners alike. Unlike his co-hosts, Will Revilam gives his own ideas and creative inputs in his noon time show. That's why just recently when Willie suffered from health pro- How can Willie get poor, the source argued, when he's still got all these assets, namely, the property in Tagante he bought from the Madrigal family, with an estimated value of P350 million on which he's now building a hotel. The house and lot in Ayalu Heights formerly owned by Gabby Lopez and Panji Tipales, now worth P400 million. Four floors at Will Tower plus a helipad. A collection of paintings including a bent cab mural worth P40 million, three Fernando Zobels, P20 million, a vintage Arturo Luz, P7 million, plus a number of sculptures. A brand new Rolls-Royce Wraith, P12 million, 
among a fleet of high-end cars, a private plane and yacht, and Hermes bags and Louis Vuitton suitcases. He wants to buy a helicopter when his Tagaiti hotel is finished. The only properties Willie has sold, the source said, is Will's events place in the mall in Will Tower, both in Cuisin City. The sale has netted him P650 million.